What up, YouTube? It's uh, Jamus14 coming to you here. Uh, it's my first video that I'm going to be putting on uh, putting on YouTube. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people out there stacking silver um, and uh, also looking at coin collections. I've been a coin collector for a little over 10 years now. Um, started taking more of an interest in some of the silver stuff, the bullion stuff. Uh, mostly Canadian. I've got some foreign stuff as well. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, at least do a, a various uh, various series on, on some of my collection and uh, probably when I'm done all that I'll, uh, I'll lay it all at one time and just do a, a video of the whole thing so um, so uh, I, I have to thank uh, uh, Mr. Boy 1980 uh, is actually a buddy of mine and uh, he's encouraged me to uh, try to put these videos up on uh, online and uh, hopefully it goes well hopefully you enjoy it uh, I've had nothing crazy spectacular, but stuff I'm still quite proud of. Um, I've been working on this for quite a long time, and uh, so I thought at least I, sh I share a, a set of my stuff, uh, the stuff that I really enjoy. These are what I'm going to be sharing with you actually are the uh, silver maples, but they're the uh, colored ones um, uh, that went from 2001 to 2007. And uh, they're all in their original cases uh, with certificates. Um, other than 2001, which did not come with one, so um, they were uh, limited minages. Um, some have higher values than other. I've just finished the set off not too long ago, so uh, here we go. So the first one I'm going to show um, is going to be the 2001 colored civil maple. So I bought this in 2001 um, from a, a coin dealer when I was living in uh, in the city area. Um, really, really liked it. Uh, it was affordable, which is which was nice. So I, uh, I decided to pick it up, and and uh, it's kind of what started things. Now, uh, I held on this coin. I bought this back again in 2001. I didn't. I kind of stopped collecting it for a while. I took a little hiatus from it, uh, but I got back into it a, a couple years ago again, and uh, have really enjoyed it. So after I had this one, I thought, you know what? I know there's other ones out there, and I really like them. So I was going to keep looking. So I had a uh, I went on uh, online and uh, came across a guy that was selling uh, some of his collection, some silver maples and stuff, and he happened to have um, a 2002 colored silver maple. So uh, uh, again, a quite a nice coin. Um, I've enjoyed it. Uh, it's uh, they just look really, really cool. So I, I don't mind the bullion stuff, the straight silver maples, um, but uh, I enjoy the other things as well. So. That's the 2002. He also had the 2003, so I bought both of them from him. I got them at a pretty decent price, better than what I'd ever get on eBay or anything else. So, um, so they've uh, they've uh, they were good buys for me. I, I really uh, I really enjoy them. So, so I had uh, so by this time now I had uh, 2001, 2002, and 2003, um, and I was continuing to try to build on the set. But it seemed like as you get higher up in the years. Towards the end of the collection, they got more and more expensive. So, I did come across one. I got this one on uh, actually on eBay. It was a, a decent price. This is 2004. Um, so again, it was a it's a really nice looking coin. Um, and uh, and uh, so I kept going, kept looking, searching around, um, and uh, so I kept moving it from there. My next two purchases were the 2005-2006. I got these from the same uh, coin shop uh, together. They weren't the one I normally go to. It's the first one I went to, um, and uh, uh, very nice little spot. Um, and uh, they're in another city, in another province. Uh, we were just traveling through, and uh, I wanted to stop in, so we did. And, um, I think it was hard to get my wife, my wife, to get me out of there. So I enjoy the stuff. So again, that's the 2005. Um, then I picked up, of course, the 2006 at the same time. Uh, the Mint put them in these packages uh, for those two years. You'll see a lot of the Mint stuff in this type of package. It's kind of plastic. It's not your normal clamshell case. Don't think it was a really big hit with a lot of people. They um, uh, they just don't look. I mean, they're a nice way to display because you can kind of set them up like this, and, and that's great. Uh, the older cases, they just sat flat in it. But, uh, but I kept going, and uh, I finally... Finally got my last one here, uh, 2007 from another coin shop uh, actually in the, the city that's close to me in, in the same province, um, and I got it for a, a really good deal. Um, it's uh, these normally go for well over 100 bucks, 
um, on eBay, um, you know, even close to 150 sometimes. And uh, the guy down there, he uh, he went and he sold it for uh, for 100 bucks, which was which was great. I was only buying the one thing, and uh, and uh, first time I ever purchased from. So this is the one that was uh, kind of eluding the rest of my collection to finish it off. But uh, the nice thing again with these cases, the clamshell, they look a little nicer. They they seem to present a little better. But of course, what the other nice thing was compared to the old clamshell cases is, you, of course, you can set it up. So it kind of sits upwards. Uh, so if you do want to display it, I've had these out on display for a little while in my house. Um, but I'm actually looking and thinking that maybe I I should probably put them into something more secure. I do have a, a, a quite a big heavy safe that I'm going to uh, put these things in. So... So I've, um, I've decided I'll probably put them away. I, I had them out to enjoy, but I really just thought, you know, let's, uh, let's, uh, keep them safe. You know, there are people out there that will try to take things from, from here, try to break in your house. God knows what. And, uh, I really hate to see a lot of this stuff go. So, um, so anyways, I'll just line it all up for you guys and, uh, let me know what you think. And there we go. So that's the that's the whole set right there, and uh, they did other killer silver maples uh, after this a different kind, and I've got some other silver maples I'll be uh, some specialized ones I'll be sharing in a uh, in another video. So be uh, be on the lookout for more to come. I've enjoyed it, so hopefully you do too, and we'll uh, see you soon.